limiting our turnovers will give us the, the best chance as far as just one thing to change. Um, it's tough, especially when you go on the road, to, to turn the ball over the way we've been doing it. Um, it would be, if I had the magic wand, that'd be the one thing we could fix that would give us the best chance of getting a win. Uh, you know, I think Houston, you know, they had control of most of that game. We made a nice run in the third quarter, uh, but that's a really good team. Uh, you know, the other ones, I feel like we had, we had our shots at winning, and we just we didn't get the job done at some point, some stretch of the game for whatever reason, and that's, uh, you know, that's that's where we're at, and we got a tough road trip coming up, so uh, it's not going to get any easier for us, but that's uh, that, that that's an exciting challenge to see how we can. Uh, how we can respond and how we can fight and grind out of this to get our next win. What do you think Lonzo is mentally right now? He had, he had a tough game the other night. Um, you know, he's probably uh, he's probably where most rookies are. You know, you have great you have great games, you have some uh, subpar games, and then you have just some uh, some average games. So it's uh, you know I think for for the position that he's playing as a 20-year-old point guard rookie in the NBA, uh, he's doing a much better job than I think uh, most players could do. And, and that's going back at you know different players throughout uh, you know the last 10 years, whatever you want to call it. I think he's handling himself very well. He's got a lot of he's got a lot of um, you know off the court stuff that most rookies don't have to don't have to uh, worry about, and he's starting as the point guard uh, for the LA Lakers and there's not a harder position to learn in this league there's not a harder position to play uh, it's got the most responsibility and I think he's doing a, a, a very good job of, of handling that. Was he limited at all today with the Cavs? Was, was he, he what? limited at all today with the No Cavs? he practiced in full. You just mentioned those turnovers. How much are the turnovers just careless, and how much do you see the guys trying well, so hard to do the right thing? Yeah, it's and, and that's it, it's both. It is, and so the careless ones, those are the ones we need to we need to fix. The ones where they're trying to do the right thing and they're trying to push the the pace and, and make the extra pass for their teammates. Uh, those are ones for for now we're still living to will to we're still willing to live with, but it's the. Uh, it's it's the careless ones. It's the you know the catch on top of the floor and take three steps before you dribble the ball turnovers uh, that we've got to get rid of. It's the tur turnovers and transitions uh, and transition that we have to get rid of. Um, so you know we we emphasized it again today in practice. We put a little penalty run on on turnovers that happened during the scrimmage, and we're gonna just keep uh, like everything else. Uh, we're gonna keep. Working on uh, working on it and getting better at it. What is the penalty? What is the penalty? Running just extra running at the end of the scrimmage for turnovers. Like how, how far are we talking? I don't I don't really like to run very far, so I'm curious. Yeah, no, not uh, just suicides okay. per turnover. Per, per player or team? Per group, per unit. Hey Luke, at various points this season when Lonzo's had some of those off court distractions with his dad or brother in China, whatever it was, you said you would check in with him and just uh -huh. make sure he's doing right. Have you done that? In the last couple days, kind of the latest stuff in yeah. Well, we're always uh, we're always checking in with, with not only him but all of our players, and uh, he seems to, to be all right. We got a long flight tomorrow, so uh, you know we're, we're we're here for for Zoe when he needs us, and you know I think he knows that uh, part of that is us building the trust with him, and uh, and I, I would expect if if he wanted to talk about something he'd feel comfortable talking to us about it. So far as he needed you, has he had to do no, any of this? No. At any point. Mm -hmm. when, when you're working on turnovers and you know basic basketball stuff with these guys and you have a young group that you're still trying to develop, obviously you know you're, you're gauging the season by different metrics and other teams. So what does success look like for you guys? Um success for us look it, it is how how we compete. Um, the effort that we give uh, mainly on the defensive end was kind of our theme from the, the start of the season. And um, are we giving ourselves a chance to win with how hard we play? You know, those are some of the major things. And you can obviously break it down to smaller details of, you know, how many passes a game do we get? You know, as far as this type of offense we want to play and sharing the ball with teammates. 
Uh, but the main the main ones with us consist of of the the effort, the consistent effort, and the defensive uh, the mindset of being a good defensive team. Where are they? Say this year at this time. They're doing pretty year. well. They're 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 doing. Uh, they're further ahead than I would have thought. Obviously, there's some slippage now that we're getting into, you know, 20 plus games in the season and practice time is limited. And, uh, you know, guys are starting to mentally and physically fatigue a little bit. Uh, but that's part of what, uh, you know, that's part of what we have to go through as a young group to get better and, and learn what that feels like and learn how to push through that. Uh, obviously, lose on a losing streak right now. Uh, learn how to come together instead of splinter to, to get out of that. And that, those are things that uh, that are tough challenges, but when you figure them out, you're, you're stronger and better for it on the other side. Yeah, okay, practicing full was, I didn't know he was hurt. He was one of our better players today. He was winning the running, the, the running race, and, you know, he was good. How do you prep? the team when you talked there and you kind of alluded to it the other night with the stretch you guys have coming up where you can play well and probably gonna lose some games. How do you prep them for that? Well you I'm I made him aware of the fact we got a, a really hard East Coast stretch coming up and not just this East Coast trip but then we come home and it would, through the new year really I mean it's it's a beast and uh that challenge is there in front of us, no matter how we look at it. So we could either look at it as this daunting task that scares us, or we can go in and say, "Look, let's let's push it and, and see see how far we can, uh, you know, see how 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 good we can do if we can come together, if we can fight through these, if we can get wins, uh, all those little small goals within the uh, within the game. There's there's all sorts of success and accomplishments to be had within that, and. Uh, you know, I think, like I said before, you, if you get through this month and you feel good about how you're playing and the way you're competing, uh, win or lose, you know, we should be a better team for it and a stronger team. Or it could, it could beat us down and now we're, you know, we're, we're, we're down and out afterwards, but I, I don't think that's what our group's going to do. Is, is it hard to get players to not use the final score of a game as a metric? Or how well it's harder. It, it definitely helps the final score. Um, as far as reinforcing how you want to feel because of the work that you're putting in. Um, but that's our job as coaches to make them realize that they're they're succeeding and getting better. Even when, you know, right now with five straight losses, there's still a lot of things that they're doing much better right now than we were at the beginning of the season. There's some things that we're not, and those are, those are things we have to kind of balance, um, you know, what we want to focus on and where we're where we're getting better and then look at the the practice plan and say all right we got to get better at this this and this let's donate this much time to that um and we have to keep getting better at these things we're good at so let's give that much pra this much practice time to, the, to those items and uh that's that's kind of the the way we break down each each practice there